Hey lovers, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by to see what I have going on today. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me. I appreciate you all so very much. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm so excited about today's video. You guys should already know. Anytime I get to do an open collaboration or challenge of any kind, I get super excited. But I particularly love the What Would You Make challenge because you get to work with, of course, wood. And I love working with that type of material. I will have more about that further along in the videos. But if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just note those comments are only desired and not required just because I love to chat with you guys after each video. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our first project. <laughs> but before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my hand there. <laughs> um, it is a healing. Um, the skin has not fully, um, the, the top layer of skin hasn't fully um, formed yet, so it is still tender, but I am, I've been okay with it. Um, the dry skin I've just kind of been removing, but uh, enough about that. I just want to share that with you because so many of you asked um, how I was doing. So I'm just taking one of these little um, night lights. I call them night lights. They're caught. This one is a, this particular one is a coffee one that I got from Dollar Tree. I've never seen any more after this when I picked these up, but I've had it probably now for about a year. And I did use it during Christmas. I didn't make any changes to it. Um, but this time around, um, because I'm going to be making a coffee sign uh, to put over my quote-unquote coffee bar. It's really just more like a coffee counter, counter <laughs> where I have my coffee machine um, set up with the little, you know, coffee teas and cocos and things like that. But um, it's not really a bar. But nonetheless, um, I like the blue on here, the blue and white. It was very cozy for Christmas, but I wanted to change this up a little bit um, just because um, I've shared with you guys, and if you've been here any time, you know, any length of time with me, you know, my kitchen is basically red, red white, and black themed. And so I've been really switching up things here and there, just kind of keeping them with the seasons, but still staying with that color, um, color pattern, if you will. And all I'm doing here is just outlining where the blue was and where the, um, it was the blue and white in certain spots that I wanted to switch up. So here I'm just going in, like I said, with the red, white, and black, outlining the coffee. I did do a whitewash on that just because once I painted it black, I felt like you really couldn't see it. Even though the sign I'm going to have it on is not a black background. I still felt like you couldn't really see the coffee word. So I decided to cut a piece of paper from, um, this is like a scrap paper. I, whenever I use stickers and then once I use them up, I keep the paper that comes in there and I use that for my paint. And so I just cut a piece of that off and put it on the back and it really helped it along. So you guys will definitely see that in a few minutes once it all comes together. Now I got this little kettle here from Woodpecker's Craft. I love them. I absolutely love them. They don't have like a huge, huge, huge selection, but they have an awesome selection. And I absolutely love their products. This is the second one I've used. I ordered quite a few with them um, just because I like the, the designs they had. Like I said, they don't have a, a big quantity of selection but what they do have is very very nice and the wood is high quality so I absolutely love that I have not had one piece yet to work on me and it's just beautiful to work with so of course as you guys can tell too on some projects well all the projects going forward you will see for the majority of them I did paint off camera I did do some touch-ups here and there and I did leave that in the um, video today just because you know it wasn't too lengthy so I was like okay I'll share you know bits and pieces of that so what you see I'm doing here I use the painters tape to section this off because I'm taking this napkin and I'm going to be using this napkin in two different DIYs and this is one of them so I love the pattern on here it's more of like a plaid pattern not really a, a buffalo check or gingham it looks more plaid to me and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, once, you know, I got the kettle, I was like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is where I want to put it. So I'm going to be using this one napkin in two DIYs today. And I only have three for you guys, uh, but they are awesome, I think. Um, one, I only have one that was just like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, and it didn't come out quite like I 
um, anticipate it. But nonetheless, it was still cute in my opinion. I might have to save it for Christmas though. But you guys can let me know once we move forward. So all I'm doing here is taking some Mod Podge and where I taped it off. And I did that because I didn't want to go over that line because I am going to be using some wording from my Cricut Joy. And so there you have it. And I just thought this was so pretty. And I was like, you know what? I totally leave it like this right now. But I wanted to add in this little saying that says fresh morning brew. Because I love my coffee, guys. I don't drink it every day, but I do love my coffee. <laughs> so I took this little wood um, drain board I got from Daiso. It was $1.75 when I purchased it. I've had this for quite some time. Um, I still have quite a few in my stash. But you could definitely use the wood scraps from Dollar Tree to recreate this. So I just like this because it's already put together and it was only $1.75. Whereas if you use the scrap wood from um, from Dollar Tree, it's going to come out a little bit more. But you may have better luck if you get uh, purchase some uh, wood from maybe one of your home improvement stores or choose to have some scrap wood. But nonetheless, it was a very inexpensive, inexpensive piece. And all I'm doing here is just now adding the kettle and the cup there. And I wanted to give that um, illusion that the kettle was pouring the coffee into that cup. And I didn't... Um, slanted quite enough but it still came together I really like this and I was a little nervous about the background the board itself because all I did was whitewash it I didn't you know I didn't paint it or any, anything like you know full-on paint it it came in that color and I just whitewashed over it and I was like is this gonna really work with the black rock and you know the colors and it did guys oh my goodness I love this <laughs> Sorry if you guys could hear that. I know you probably could. I tell you, if it ain't a notification, it's motorcycles. And if it ain't motorcycles, it's notifications. But just roll with me, y'all. Let's just bypass it. Let's keep going. <laughs> so next, even though I like this as is, I did feel like it needed something like a little pop of green in there. And so I decided to take um, some, the, some of the greeny, greeny, <laughs> some of the greenery from a pick I had that I picked up from Michael's. Um, and the pick was so beautiful. It's just a little like tiny one, a little bunch, but it was only 99 cents. And technically I only paid 77 cents because I had some coupons and things like that and rewards. So I only paid 77 cents for them. And, um, so I'm just going in, I'm using some of my pre tie bowls that I ordered offline and I had this gingham one. It had like a burlap backing to it and then like a black and red gingham, even though I know that wasn't the color on the kettle. I still feel like it played to the red and black. So I also took a, if you can see there where I'm painting around the handle, and I'm not sure what happened to the rest of that footage, but as you can see there, I did add some other stuff in there and I added in a little black and white gingham bow to the handle. And so you guys will see the rest of this during the final reveal. I absolutely love the way this came together. So, I'm not sure why I left this so long. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my lord so what would you make challenge is hosted by okay at home diy and connie's Cre connie's wood and diy she just recently changed her name and the guest host is krista's uh krista's crafty life so I will have their information in my description box below along with the awesome playlist. So please, once you're done here, stop by and tell them I said hello and that I look forward to their creations. So next up with project number two is this long, um, it's like a long, like a cutting board, but I don't know necessarily. I think it would probably be used more for um, chicotery. I know I probably said chicotery. <laughs> more like a charcuterie board <laughs> oh try saying that five times but um i wanted to use this for holding my measuring um spoons i recently got this super cool measuring spoon um i actually ordered off of timo and i should have actually featured it on here and i didn't but it's super cool where you can kind of adjust it well you can adjust it and it will go from um spoons like teaspoons tablespoons to full on cups in just one piece. And I'm like, this is like the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> and I do have quite a few uh, 
uh, measuring cups and things like that. And I only tend to use certain ones. But nonetheless, I was like, you know, I just want one for this particular one. I think this be, it's very slender, can really fit in anywhere. So that was this. And I got that from Michaels. Now this is, I'm using the second half of that napkin I used on the kettle. And this, these are mason jars. And they have like um, gingham or buffalo check ribbons. Not ribbons. Uh, what is it called? Scarves. That's what it looks like. Scarves around them. And so I absolutely fell in love with them. At the time I was looking at them. I was like, oh, this is super farmhouse to me. But once I started putting everything together, guys, it started looking like Christmassy to me. So I was getting a little bummed about it because it's like, oh, it's all pretty. But I'm just getting more Christmas vibes from it than I am, you know, more spring or summer farmhouse decor. And that's quite all right. Like, it, it's not a big deal. It doesn't have, like, snow or anything attached to it. It was just the coloring of it, um, things like that. And I believe it's more like a watercolor on the napkin. But nonetheless, guys, it still looked cute to me. But it was my least favorite of today. And not that I hated it. I just, you know, I just didn't love, love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I still think it came out cute. So what I originally did here was paint it all white. And you will see, I believe I left on camera with this one. Because I end up painting the handle black. Going up the sides with some of that red. And I'm just filling it in with some Mod Podge. And so that's all you see I'm doing here is just doing some touch-ups. Because I had noticed, like, I don't know what made me lean back. But I could see little patches of it where it didn't get covered with the... My posh so I was just like well let me just go on and touch it up and let it dry up and then you know we'll be good to go and I can start working with the handle and the sides so that's all you see I'm doing here and I am so sorry guys that I left this in here I'm so sorry <laughs> but nonetheless there it is I take some more of that painter's tape and just tape it off at the base or at the top of where the, I'm gonna call this like a paddle the paddle part <laughs> starts so I'm going in with some of the ink black by folk art I really love that black color I love this one and the ink by um, Waverly I know they're affiliated with the same company they're both plaid but I don't know the colors on certain ones I really like and I know it's a difference in them I just can't you know officially say or what they are but I see the difference there <laughs> so all I did there was uh, paint that in black like I said I'm going up the side with some of that crimson red by Waverly and I really did not have to give this a heavy coat just uh, pretty much one or two and some little touch-ups and I absolutely love the way that these came out so like I said it's not uh, this one's not at my it's not my number one <laughs> I would have to say the kettle and the cup is my number one and then our next project is number two I mean is my number two <laughs> and then this would be the number three, which is, like I said, my least one. So what I decided to do here is take my smudge brush and just do a little distressing on it. Just kind of blending in some of my truffle paint by Waverly. Just so I could give it that true farmhouse um, rustic, you know, look. And I didn't want it to be too overbearing. And so I really like the way this came out in the end. Now this is truly a piece I would probably say is not for everybody, but um, it was it was it was okay. And then also what I did off camera too. I don't think I think I show it, but I don't think I show you guys me putting it all together. So what I did was I took a knob, an unfinished wood knob I had, and added that to the bottom because that's where I want the um the measuring spoon slash cup to hang and I didn't want to put a lot of stuff on here I just wanted that one particular thing because I just thought it would look super cute and what you see that I'm doing here is adding in some greenery from that same pick that I used on the kettle sign and then I added in some beads as well I was going to do two strands of beads but a it was just something about this piece. I, I think it was more because of the shape of it that I just 
I went kind of left on it. I, I think that's really what it is. You know, it wasn't just um, a nice wide platform. It was very slender. So I think it may have threw it off in my eyes a little bit. But nonetheless, I think I brought it together uh, really well. And the greenery on here, I just absolutely love. I mean, it's just beautiful. Like I, when you take little things like this and just add them to your projects, it's like, yeah, that just bumped this up a few notches. <laughs> High five. So um, I'm just trying to arrange that because I'm not a flower arranger, guys. I just, I do the bare minimum when it comes to arranging and putting all those things together. But like I said, at the end of the day, it came together. Now off camera, I did also add in some leaves. And you can kind of see it here. I, when I did my editing, y'all, this is what I got. So, but you guys will see it up close and personal in the final reveal. Just stick around a few minutes more. We're almost at the finish line, guys. So next up is a mason jar. And this is one of the oversized ones. I did get this from Hobby Lobby, but you can order these online in uh, bulk quantities and you will come out paying Pretty much about around the same size you'll pay size, oh, the same amount you would pay at Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah, it, it, it pays sometimes to look at different uh, channels for getting your your supplies and stuff. So all I'm doing here is taking the napkin that I had, um, and I absolutely love the pattern on this napkin. And I'm laying down some of this burlap ribbon that I ordered off a of line, and off online <laughs> I ordered offline y'all know what I'm trying to say. I ordered online help me so I'm taking one of the pre-made burlap bows and adding that in and I was gonna leave it there but then I was like nope nope I had this big beautiful sunflower and I love big you know flower picks like this I absolutely ah, I'm addicted to them I really do so I took some of the leaves from that same pick added them to the back of there and I I put the large sunflower right in the middle and glued everything down so you can totally change this out because these colors in this napkin are pretty neutral like I can even see this going over into fall even though it has beads on it things like that which is you know <clears throat> geared more towards summertime but I could definitely see this transitioning into fall so I'm just giving it a great amount of hot glue which holds sufficiently and it is beautiful to me and that's literally it with this project so now I'm just kind of um taking little dabs of hot glue tying them or tying them putting them under where uh, the bow you know for the tails of the bow I add in a natural half bead. I do end up painting that in the truffle color by Waverly as well. And also I'm going to go in and now do some distressing. Now I do believe I reduced quite a bit of this because um, <laughs> it took me forever. <laughs> it did, but nonetheless, I just went in and... Um, was giving it some uh, good coverage and not too much not too heavy just kind of right in the middle like low middle of distressing like I didn't go super heavy-handed with it I just really needed to get, tie those um, the edges if you will tie them into the actual piece I just felt like on the edges was just really disconnected from the actual piece of this and now I think this is absolutely beautiful like this screams farmhouse to me I just love it 100% and I will totally be displaying this because this is really cute to me. So, like I said, I'm just taking some of that truck paint, dirtying up those tails. And is, um, after that, guys, that's pretty much it. That's where I went in and put the half bead in there. And um, it should be coming up right now for our final reveal guys but there it is isn't that beautiful I just really think that's so cute I do feel bad you can't really tell it's a mason jar but I really do love the way it came out and so here it is this is where I took the um, measuring cup holder I guess if you want to say or sign <laughs> and I added in the leaves there I really like the way that came out. It's super long. I don't. It, I didn't even measure it, but it's super, super long. And here's my tea kettle and my coffee cup. I love this. I love the color contrast on this. I love everything about this piece. Like it is 
so cute to me. It, you know what? It screams diner. It gives me more diner vibes than farmhouse. So you guys gotta let me know if you feel the same way. I'm getting more diner vibes from it. But I absolutely love it. Like this, I think it's one of the most favorite things I've made for my kitchen thus far. <laughs> And here's our mason jar, which I love too. I love the pattern on this. Um, this is giving me a spread, like a quilt kind of feel to it. I don't know. I, I mean, you know, my brain just goes there sometimes. Like there's always something just brewing in the back of my <laughs> head with these projects. Um, and I, I just, I really love it. So you guys have to let me know if you have a favorite. And I appreciate you guys sticking around. So once again, I want to thank OK at Home DIYs, Chris's Crypto. Krista's Crafty Life and Connie's Woodshop and DIYs for hosting this event for us. And don't forget to check out their information and playlist, the playlist in the description box below. Also, if you have stuck around with me for this ride, I want to thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming along with me. I hope you guys were inspired to recreate. And by all means, feel free to share. And just remember, loveys, too. If you haven't done so already, to subscribe, like, share, comment. Just know those comments are only desired and not required just because I love to chat with you guys. And 